can Lionel Messi do it on a cold Tuesday night in Stoke? It's a sentence we've all heard over the last 10, 15, even 20 years. Well, today, I've got the answers. I've locked Lionel Messi as a youngster at Stoke City for 20 years. Why have I done this? Well, he's probably going to retire pretty soon, isn't he? And he's been one of, he's one of the greatest of all time, if not the greatest. You know, I'm not into the whole Messi-Ronaldo debate. All I'm saying is, in 2022, Ronaldo dropped off from United and went in an interview with Piers Morgan and got released and signed for a club in Saudi Arabia. Lionel Messi won the World Cup. And I'm a United fan. So, any bias is probably the weighted towards Ronaldo. Anyway, enough of that. Enough of this deliberation. Let's jump straight into the action and see how Lionel gets on at Stoke. So here he is, Lionel Messi at Stoke City for the next 21 years. He's going to go to PSG. There you go, joining PSG. Um, his stats are his stats. He's got his, I think his uh, potential ability is 200. I've removed his caps. I've put one national, one international cap and zero goals in. So we'll see how he fares compared to his current international record. Can he win more than a solitary World Cup? How many can he win more than is anyone won Copper America, hasn't he? We'll see. We'll see. Let's get straight into the action. So Stoke City are in the championship. Alex Neal's the manager. The, their key player is, of course, Lionel Messi. I don't know why he's not the captain yet. I'm sure he will be. Down the line. Stoke have actually got £22 million in the bank. And as it stands, they are pre predicted to finish 8th. Even with Lionel Messi. So, we're going to jump through just one year to see how Lionel gets on. And can he take them straight to the Premier League? I bet he can. Well, this is awkward, isn't it? 12th. The, the, the quintessentially mid table could not be more mid table the middlest of tablest stoke you have let me down scored 53 conceded 53 lionel how did you do so we got 30 of those 53 30 of those 53 they had five cup games to be fair and a little cup run he played every single game in the league 46 games 30 goals Six penalties scored out of seven, so he did miss one. Six assists, eight player of the matches, two yellow cards, no red cards. 7.24, very, very nice. I've made a quick note of his games and goals, so we can go back and retroactively look at his goals and uh, goals to games ratio for Stoke City and see if he's better than for Barcelona. I don't think he'll win as many trophies at Stoke, but... I could be wrong. I could be wrong. I've already been wrong in this video by saying, yes, he'd get into the Premier League and we're on season. We're not even in season two yet. Shambles. Six caps, zero goals. That leads me to think that not only did he not win the World Cup, definitely didn't win the World Cup. Scaloni's not in charge. They're ranked seventh. The World Cup was won by England, no less. 2-1 against Switzerland in the final. Who took Switzerland took the lead and he wow, oh, two goals in the last 10 minutes. God, imagine if you were watching that and you're English. This would the, the, I mean, up to the 80th minute, that is the most English performance I've ever seen in my life. Get to the World Cup final and then lose it to Switzerland. No disrespect to Switzerland, but the Copper America Cop, uh, so the Copper America is every How often is it? This is this is inconsistent. 2019, 2021, 2016, 2015, 2011, 7, 4. Like what's forgive my ignorance, guys, but what's happening? Whatever. We'll check back in in a uh, couple of years. See what's happening with it. Right, so I'm a bit miffed, to be honest, that he didn't get him up in the first season and we can't come back every year otherwise this video will be about 40 minutes long let's jump through three years let's jump through three years and uh see how he gets on come on get him to the premier league Lionel. okay so the season hasn't ticked over yet certainly the stats still says skybet championship 75 goals in 174 appearances for stoke 15 goals there he's he must be playing out on the wing now must be playing out on the wing because he must have an another superstar striker up front <sighs> stoke city Fifth in the championship. League table. Rubbish. 
Absolutely rubbish. Ah, 45 million. Have they signed anyone good? 42 million pounds spent this season. Right. Good. 49 million pounds spent there. Oh, they were up in the Premier Division. They have just come back down. So they went up via the playoffs. Then they came down in 19th. And then they've gone, they've stayed in the Championship, unfortunately. Right. Well, fair play. Leon Messi is now the captain. How did he fare in the Premier League? Only nine goals. He must be playing him out on the right. There's no way he's playing up top. How would you play him? I'd play him in the hole. I'd get, you, you want him involved as much as possible. With a player this good, you want him involved as much as possible. So linking between the uh, midfield and attack, that's where I'd play him. All day, every day. They're playing him out on the right, as you can see. He's off on international duty for Argentina. And what's happening then? The current World Cup is underway and they're through. It's Cameroon now in the second round. The Copper America. They came third in the Copper America. Oh, he's getting over sevens every single time, to be fair. So he, cer he certainly can do it on a wet Tuesday night in Stoke. Just Stoke can't do it on a wet Tuesday night in Stoke, it appears. Yeah. Right. So we're going to jump through to 2031, five more years in the future, leaving 12 years remaining of the experiment. So we'll do the final two jumps in increments of six years. I'll see you in five years, gang. So Messi has reached his, nearly reached his potential of 200 on 199. And how's he getting on? Oh, the most recent season was the Premier Division. He's got 16 goals, nine assists. Has he kept them up? Has he kept them up? They've been, they've been in the Premiership for three years in a row as well. So, 13th. 13th. Go on, Stoke, lads. Arsenal have just won it. The Stoke finished 13th two seasons in a row. 15th the season before that. Arsenal winning it again there. And again. And this was the season that Stoke must have come up. So, 27-28. Let's go down to the Championship then. And he won by the playoffs. Against Sunderland on penalties. Oh, Sunderland. Soft spot for Sunderland because of the Road to Glory series that I did on FM22. It was a lot of fun where we took them to the very top. Spoilers. If you've not seen it, you're probably not going to go back and binge it. But feel free to. Feel free to. Yes, Stoke City. Finishing in the Premier League 15th, 13th and 13th. I've got to say, they were very unlucky to be, or lucky, shall we say, to be 13th this most recent season, considering they were on six points less than the season before. Quick look down the Carabao Cup, and as you can see, it's just Aston Villa have won one, Tottenham with a couple, Newcastle, and City, Chelsea, Liverpool. FA Cup, again, just all the big hitters. Liverpool, Arsenal, Chelsea, Man City. Leicester have won another one there. Fair play, Leicester City. Villa coming second. Aston Villa doing all right. Brighton coming runner-up as well. And West Ham. And Lionel Scaloni, I don't know how long he's been here. Scaloni's been here for two years, 205 days. So we started off this save file with Scaloni in charge of Argentina. He's now come to Stoke to be in charge of Messi or just be in charge of Stoke, really. So Argentina, currently eighth in the world. Sergio Gomez is in charge. So this is where we were. And they lost, oh, they lost 5-1 to France in the World Cup quarterfinal. Lionel Messi did score, but Kylian Mbappe got a hat trick. And France absolutely battered them in this World Cup. We'll check the winner in a moment. Proper America, they come third again. That's back-to-back -back third. And they lost to Brazil in the semi-final. They've gone out to England 3-0 in... The World Cup third round most recently. It was, and it was France that won the tournament when they beat Argentina 5-1. And it's Brazil who've won the most recent. And the most recent winners of the Copa America have been Mexico and Colombia. So, fair enough. Fair enough. Right, well, um, to avoid this video rumbling on excessively six more years, let's get jumping forward. Here we go. He's currently, in terms of Current ability, he's the best player in the world. Just ahead of Mirko Natoli, who is a regen and a regen goalkeeper, no less, for Manchester City. Wearing the substitute number 13. Very good, though, isn't he? Very, very good. 
But here is Lionel. He's lost some of his attributes, to be fair. He's, he's dribbling's no longer 20, but he's still 198. So maybe he's picked attributes up in other areas. I'm not sure. Not sure. Barcelona and Stoke City legend, Lionel Messi. <laughs> 240 goals in 585 games, then for Stoke. And Stoke are still in the Premier Division. Go on, Stoke, lads. Go on, Stoke. Domestic leagues. They've been in there ever since we were last here um, in 2030-31. So they finished 13th. Yeah, 15th, 13th, 30th. 14th, 10th, 13th, 10th. 14th and 12th. So they've never actually fin... Is 10th top half? Technically, it is the bottom of top half. Never finished in a single digit position. Let's say that. Let's say that. But he has managed to turn them into a, an established Premier Division side, which they were for a lot of years. Spending big money here. Eh, selling as much as they're buying, to be fair. Bit more there. Yeah, not too bad. Not too bad. A million pound in the hole. Lionel Messi, okay, so he, of course, is the captain. Sergio Gomez is still in charge. He's been in there for over six years, which does bode well. So we were last here in... Oh, they lost to Brazil in the Copa America final. Oh, coming runner-up. Going one better than that third place. In the World Cup quarter-final, they lost to France. Hey, and they've won the Copa America in 2036. Last year, they beat Chile in the final. A fantastic win. Lionel Messi with a goal in the final. Absolutely brilliant. Now, I'm sure watching this, you're going to be going, how many Ballon d'Ors has Lionel Messi won? Well, we're going to check that at the end of his career or end of his Stoke tenure to compare. What's he got in real life? Six? Seven? Should have done my research. So Stoke is staying up consistently. He's got six years left until he joins PSG in 2043. So I'm going to jump to 2043 now and we'll see how he's getting on. And here we go. He's down at 173. 173 out of 200. He's, his dribbling's dropped off the face of the earth. 13. Wow. 38 years old. Joining PSG today. Still a Stoke player for a few hours yet. Let's skip. Let's skip forward. There he is. He's at PSG. So in for Stoke... He scored 317 in 799 games. Not as good as his time at Barcelona. And you wouldn't expect it to be either. Um, Hoiberg, Jeremiel Hoiberg from Tottenham is the manager of Stoke currently. And he's just lost Lionel Messi on a free. Just lost him on a free. Competitions, how have they done? Well, they've been in the Premier League ever since. They've still never finished in a single digit position. Narrowly avoiding the drop in 2039-2040. Finishing 17th. Every other season they've been reasonably comfortable. Their best points haul was 55 points when they got 10th. And then 54 where they also achieved 10th position. So, yeah, not too bad. Not too bad. Okay, let's go and look at internationally then. Carlos Tevez is in charge. Big Carlos. The back down in seventh doesn't bode well for any World Cups. Where we were in 2036, they beat Chile in the final. And then locked out to Belgium in the third round after a 10-0 win against Uganda. Patrick for Lionel Messi. Third place again in the Copa America. Lost 4-3 to Brazil after extra time in 2042. So no World Cups for Lionel. And one Copper America. Golden ball then. The world golden ball. Angelo. Winning the Ballon d'Or a few times. They've played for Man City for a while. And then Juve. That's funny isn't it? How he's gone to Juve for just 53. He went on loan for 2.1 million. 53 million pound signing. And then he's going to win three Ballon d'Ors. Well, I said Phil Jones then. Bill James, Regen, New Gen, Regen. Which camp are you in? Let me know in the comments below. Say Regen or New Gen. I say Regen. I think I'm wrong in saying that. Give me abuse in the comments. And while you're there, 
subscribe to the channel i haven't done any of the youtube admin and we're rumbling on right to the end of this video so yeah subscribe to the channel like the video and all that good stuff please the algorithm because it pleases me psg uh, so killian mbappe has won a lot vinicius jr edry erling Haaland has only snuck one ballon d'or but what if there was a team of 11 Haaland's versus a team of 11 Mbappe's? Who would win? Well, there's a video on the channel just like that in one of my other experiments. Go and check it out if you haven't already. Um, so no Ballon d'Ors for Lionel Messi, sadly. Football of the year. Now, oh, look at this. Hendrik. I've got Angelo. I can't believe it. He's not done anything at um, Man City and then it gone to Juve and he's absolutely bossed it. Hendrik at Juve as well. Retired, but a long time at Juve. Under-21 Football of the Year. Still nothing for Lionel Messi. That's Brandon Zamora. I keep seeing his name pop up and I'm like, do you know what? Let's have a look at him. Look at that. He's a good player, isn't he? Oh, Brandon. Four, 34 as well now. So let's just round it off by looking at who's won the World Cups. I know we've seen a few of them, but England have won twice. Brazil have won twice. France and then Belgium with their first. Both times England have won it. They've beaten Switzerland in the final. And Spain have come third place. Spain have come third place three times in this experiment. And Germany twice. Crazy. Absolutely crazy. Anyway. That's it. That's the end of the experiment. Lionel Messi has not done as well at Stoke as he did at Barcelona. Wow. What a shock. Um, I hope you enjoyed this, guys. Uh, and it's not been the most informative. It's just been a bit silly, been a bit of a mess around. But yeah, you know, sometimes these experiments aren't that informative. They're just messing about for messing about's sake. So, and in this episode, we certainly did mess about with messy, you know. Oh, I was trying to tenuously make a pun and it just fell very flat. I'm going to leave all that in. Um, I mean... You're not going to subscribe after that, are you? I'll ask anyway. Please subscribe to the channel. <laughs> like the video. Um, take care, and I'll hopefully see you soon. I wouldn't blame you if I don't.